it's Kathy Kress again and I am back with my YouTube channel Geriatric Care One and we have been doing should a nonprofit go into ger private geriatric care management in other words add a new service and we've done lots in the past uh, there are several sections to this and a competition survey and you learning whether you should really do this it's a big step so we are going under the assumption that you've already done the competition survey, you've chosen to do this, and now you're going to face some of the changes you need to make and some of the hurdles you will face. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about uh, some of the hurdles. And um, nonprofit culture is very different than for-profit culture. So this is really a culture change for everyone in your uh, your your business, your nonprofit, uh, because in a for-profit culture, uh, you're selling. In a nonprofit culture, you're giving away. So you have to merge these two cultures in some way. Uh, in the past, and in, in the past, it, seniors really only ch ch chose trusted providers like Medicare and the government uh, for their services. And now, um, there are all sorts of new trusted providers. Just think of this. Uh, concierge physician. Lots of older people now go to concierge physicians because they're very frustrated with the weights they have to have with regular doctors or doctors not accepting Medicare. So they have a concierge physician who's a very trusted provider who will actually come to their home. Uh, new trusted providers include elder law attorneys because older people need to uh, make wills, make decisions about their adult children, how they disperse things. Uh, that's a trusted provider and because they've always trusted attorneys, uh, usually had one attorney, that's a new trusted provider. Uh, accountants. You know, accountants are trusted providers. Older people really go to them, you know, again, in figuring out dispersing money with their adult children, etc. Even bankers, who don't have a great rep, <laughs> um, you know, have, um, have services for older people, and older people do really trust them. So, and, and even, like, new, just think when you buy shoes. I have a shoe on. Okay, Zappos. Zappos is a trusted provider now. A lot of people will go online and buy their shoes there because it's a great company. You can get things uh, less expensive and they're great to their employees. Apple, older people really use, you know, uh, the, what, you use computers. Apple's a trusted provider. Microsoft is a trusted provider. So for profit, and, and a concierge physician is for profit, bankers are for profit. For-profit providers have become trusted providers now, and so geriatric care manage management can. Um, and so the positives are that you can enter this industry or this this business, geriatric care managers, with you know the with the background now that uh, you know people like Zappos, people like concierge physicians are trusted. Older people can make that switch. Um, and I'll give you an example. There's a group called DCC Kitchen. It's in Washington, D.C., and they're a nonprofit. They're a 501c. And they collect uh, surplus, farm, so surplus food from farms and mm -hmm. restaurants, and they disperse it to the poor. So they have a nonprofit business. At the same time, they have a catering business, which is for profit. Mm -hmm. And they're very, they're very well known for this. What they have done is they have combined the two, and the and the uh, the catering company lessens the dependence on donors. It really increases their bottom line, mm -hmm. and so that's what I'm talking about. So for a nonprofit, you can uh, decrease the your dependence on donors, which are going away, and you can increase your bottom line by adding a new service that's for profit and that's exactly what this group did. Um, and so I'll give you another example. And so you're going to have two brands. Jewish Family Services, which is well known throughout the country. It's a nonprofit that's been around forever. And its uh, mission is to serve the poor and needy. Uh, but they added geriatric care management. And they added it a long time ago. And 
their, um, just, you know, go on their website for Los Angeles. It's Jewish Family Services of LA. And then uh, you, can, you can go through their website and you can find Aging Family Care, which is a geriatric care management agency within Jewish Family Services. And they've combined these two. So they have their trusted brand, Jewish Family Services, and they now have another service, for-profit service, geriatric care management. So you can combine these cultures and also benefit economically from them. So, I will see you next time, and we will get over these roadblocks, and always go to my website, kathygress.com.